hello in this video i'll teach you how to find sum of diagonal elements now let me explain what is diagonal so in a 2d array or matrix so let's say this is a 2d array of row and column of size 3 so the main diagonal will be this so this is the diagonal whose sum we are going to find. So in this case it will be 1 plus 5 plus 9. So 1 plus 5 plus 9 will be 16. So this is our diagonal and this is the sum of our diagonal. Let's say this is an array A. So how shall we find the sum of the diagonal elements? So first let's write the row and column index for each of these. So this is row this is column 0, 1 and 2. See these are the rows and columns. So let's see what is the row and column for this element. So this is 0th row and 0th column. So let's just write that 1 is present at row number 0 and column number 0. So now let's see for this 5. So what is the row and what is the column? So we will say 5 is present at row number 1 and column number 1. What about this 9? So the row is 2 and column is also 2 for the value 9. So what is the common thing we observe here? For every element of the diagonal we can say that whatever is present in the row or the value present in the row and column is same. So this is what we observe. Let's say this array was 4 cross 4. So let's say there were more elements over here. 10, 11 and 12. 4 cross 4. So let me add some values here. 9, 7, 8 and 6. So this is the 4 cross 4 array. And if you see for this element, this is also now included in this diagonal. So what about this 6? What is the row and column for this? So again for 6 we can see that the row is 3 and the column is also 3. So what is what value is present in row is the value present in column or in short you can say that the row is equal to column for diagonal elements. So now we are going to use this simple thing to write our code. So let's say this is the array A. Now let's write the code logic to find the sum of the diagonal elements. So directly I'm going to use for loop instead of declaring function and declaring the array. I hope you students can do that. So from for loop, so I'm going to use two for loops. One for loop is to traverse the row and one for loop to traverse the column. So first for the row I'll say int i equal to 0 and i is less than 3 i plus plus so this is for the row and i'm going to nest another for loop i'm going to say int j equal to 0 j less than 3 j plus plus so what is the condition or what is the thing which we observed which is common for the diagonal element we saw that whatever value is present in row is the value present in column so I am going to say if i is equal equal j. You got it right. So this is 0, 1 and 2. This is 0, 1 and 2. When i is equal to j, it is a diagonal element. When i is equal to j, it is a diagonal element. So if i equal equal j, let me declare one more variable for sum. So I will say if i equal equal j sum equal to sum plus the value present in i and j. I hope this is clear. Whenever the row index and column index is equal, I am going to add the value present at i and j location. finish off both the for loops and now I am going to print. So you can use system 
dot out dot print and you can print sum so in this case we will be getting a result or output as 16 that is 1 plus 5 plus 9 is 16 so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you